Last night, NASCAR raced at Bristol Motor Speedway for the night race at Bristol. And Danny Hamlin wins it. Let's go. Let's get started with this race review. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of In the NASCAR Bristol Night Race Review Edition. Um, yeah, so this is this is the race review of the Bristol Night Race that happened last night. And as you guys um, know in my last video, I said that I was feeling sick. I am feeling just a little better. Uh, I'm still feeling a little congested. So, still feeling congested. My throat's hurting still. So, yeah, but... I'm still very happy for the fact Denny Hamlin wins and he's been coming up so close the past couple of weeks. He's finally done it. He's finally won a race in the playoffs first in the first round. So, yeah, I feel like the first two races he should have won. We practically, Denny Hamlin could have swept the round of 16. Like, Denny Hamlin's been having incredible speed. So, yeah. Um, wow. So, yeah, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started. Um, stage one, um, the first 30 laps were like were kind of basically like a conveyor belt, no, pa almost no passing whatsoever. So yeah, but that changed until after like after that after that yellow flag precaution for AJ Allmendinger and Austin Cindric getting together, and yeah, and also this is the last race. Of the round of 16, which means four drivers have been eliminated. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. So, yeah. So, stage one. Um, racing wasn't bad at all. Wasn't bad. I was worried, but it wasn't bad. There was three wide passing. You can make the outside line work. There's PJ1 added on the track, though, on the inside. But, um, yeah. So, stage one and stage two were both won by Christopher Bell. They both... He has he swept the stages, so yeah, and also Christopher Christopher Bell won his third pole of the playoffs and his third pole in a row. So yeah, so Christopher Bell and qualifying's been good. So yeah, there was indeed three wide racing. Um, I don't strategy was a, I think strategy was a good factor in this race. You could either stay in the back, get your fresh tires, or go to the front and get track position. But however, with this with this package, um, it is hard to pass. And I gotta talk about one driver, Corey LaJoy. He was up front ahead of Bubba Wallace early early in the race, and man, and then Corey LaJoy eventually got caught in that like wreck in stage three. So yeah, but Corey LaJoy was having a solid run earlier in the race. Like, imagine if he would have actually would have won a stage at a non super speedway track. That would have been good for him. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, stage three. I think there was only three cautions for incidents today. That involved crashes or spins. I know the Austin Cedric and, and AJ Allmendinger incident was one. Um, the next one was involving Corey LaJoy and that big wreck that happened in turn. I think it was turn three. It involves one of your playoff drivers, Joey Logano, guys. Joey Logano, man. He is one of the drivers eliminated from the playoffs, and I almost had to put put Logano eliminated in the round of 16, but I ended up going with Ryan Blaney. So, yeah, I actually got three of my four drivers I have where I have eliminated round in the first round are in, or have been eliminated, which is McDowell, Harvick, and Stenhouse. I predicted those four to be eliminated, three to be eliminated, and I got them right. I only got one wrong, which I knew it was going to be Penske. Which, so, you could kind of as well call that a half. So, yeah, I was this close to getting my predictions. This close to getting some of my predictions, right? So, I knew it was going to be a Penske car. Harvick, Stenhouse, and McDowell. Those four are eliminated. Um, Kevin Harvick, I just did He just really didn't have enough playoff points. And then, playoff points. And then, um, the past few weeks for him, he just hasn't had the good speed. He has speed at Kansas, but he... But, Bristol was just not really good for him, especially Harvick's final Bristol race. Man, that's not good. 
Man, oh, he didn't have a good race there. Martin Truex Jr., this was another one for Incident. Truex uh, got loose or some, something like that and then hit the wall. And then, um, yeah, Truex, this was not one of Truex's best tracks. And Truex has been having handling problems all race. So, yeah. I am now going to talk about the drivers who have been up front. Ty Gibbs. He would he would he could would have been in contention. He's one of the drivers in contention to win last night's race. So uh, yeah, but he ended up finishing in the top five. So yeah, yeah. And then the racing, in my opinion, was good. It was good, guys. So yeah, it's it wasn't really it wasn't definitely impossible. It was hard to pass, but there was more passing than I thought. So, yeah, I feel like this race was kind of like how exactly I'm going to rate, probably rate this race kind of similar to how I did with last year's. But last year's race was more dramatic because so many playoff drivers got involved. This year wasn't as much, but there were most of them who were not really good. Like Kyle Busch ran lap down, Blaney, Logano had problems, Truex had problems. And, yeah, so, yeah, there were drivers out there who had up and down days for sure. But, um, yeah, now we get down to the winner, and that is my guy, my favorite, Denny Hamlin, gets his gets career win number 51. Let's go! Yes! Oh, gosh, guys. Denny Hamlin came up so close the past couple of weeks. Does it this week. Let's go! So, very happy. And another thing, too, Bubba Wallace, I predicted him to make it out of this first round. He is. He's in. He's in the round of 12. Let's go. Yeah, so all my favorite drivers have advanced to the round of 12. Hamlin might be my main favorite. Then 2311 Racing's Bubba Wallace and Tyler Reddick. Awesome. And all, by the way, Tyler Reddick ran that, ran that Jordan paint scheme that he did. That paint scheme was really cool. So, yeah. By the way, there was, of course, rain. Had, had an effect on the day's race. It started. It was originally supposed to start at 6.30 um, Central Time, which is 7.30 Eastern. Now it's moved up an hour early, but we started a little later because there was some mist coming down. And then, and then in stage one, there was a little bit of a rain delay. But then rain didn't affect the track. Didn't really affect it that much. And we were able to, NASCAR, we were able to get the finish of the race done last night. So, yeah, and that allowed, allowed to get some... Um, good racing, and yeah, there was three wide action, and yeah, and then now after that final restart between Hamlin and Larson, there were drivers moving around, and Denny Hamlin practically dominated stage three. He did it. Let's go. So, yeah, passing was a challenge for sure, but everyone's gonna be talking about this, dude. The way Denny Hamlin's interview. This is what he said. This is Denny Hamlin's interview, and this has to be one of the most savagest interviews Denny Hamlin has ever said. Hey. Hey. I beat your favorite driver. And who would that be? All of them. That quote was probably one of the, that's probably the quote of the year right there. Like, holy moly. That was savage of you, Denny Hamlin. That that's one of the reasons why Denny's my favorite. So, wow, 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 wow. That was awesome. That quote was so awesome, guys. So, yeah. So Denny Hamlin officially beat y'all's favorite drivers. So, yeah. So, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. So now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the race results. And here's the race results. Denny Hamlin won the race, finishes first. Kyle Larson finishes second. He actually came from the back all the way up to second. So I would call that a win for Larson. Christopher Bell will finish third after winning the stages. Fourth is last year's winner, Chris Buescher. Ty Gibbs drops up the top five. Michael McDowell, sixth. He is, unfortunately, he's, he's out of the playoffs. Chase Elliott, seventh. Brad Keselowski. In the round of 12, finishes 8th. William Byron, 9th. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. will finish 10th in the top 10. Carson Hosovar. I gotta give a shout out to Carson Hosovar. This has to be... Carson Hosovar, I think he's gonna be running full-time next year. Give this guy a full-time ride in the Cup Series. Because what he's been able to do in that number 42, that's impressive, man. I am very proud of Carson Hosovar. That's awesome. 
Ryan Blaney in 12th, Alex Bowman 13th. Bubba Wallace will officially punch his ticket to the round of 12, had enough points to do it. Tyler Reddick it will finish 15th, Todd Gill at 16th, Austin Dillon 17th, Eric Alvaro at 18th, Martin Truex Jr. 19th, he had he has having a struggling day. Kyle Busch out to the top 20. Daniel Suarez 21st. Ryan Blaney 22nd. Trackhouse Racing, man. They just haven't been good this race. 23rd. And Ross Chastain. Eric Jones 24th. Corey LeJoy 25th. JJ Yeely 26th. Chase Briscoe 27th. Harrison Burton 28th. Kevin Harvick. This has been a struggling race for Kevin Harvick. He finishes 29th. AJ Allmendinger 30th. BJ McLeod 31st. Austin Strick 32nd. Ty Dillon, Joy Legano, Justin Haley, and Ryan Newman, they, they were caught up in that, in that accident, and they were out in Logano. The defending series champion will not make it to the round of 12. So yeah, guys, in, so guys, in conclusion, this race was good. This race was really good. Now I'm going to take a look at the playoff grid right over here now. So here it is. Here's how the playoffs look. And um, yeah, the drivers were below the cutoff line are Chastain, Keslowski, Ryan Blaney, um, and Bubba Wallace. So they're all right now below the cut line. Tyler Reddick's the first, it's going to be the last guy in if the round of 12 ends. If the round of 12 ends eventually. So yeah, but those are your drivers. Also, your new updated playoff standings. Shurex, after having an abysmal round of 16, is now back above, a, back above the cut line. Denny Hamlin now is in third. With, with all the playoff points he got in this first round. So, yeah. Here's the playoff grid. And so, I'm going to show you that was, how was the playoff grid, guys. And, wow. Just wow, guys. We had, but I got to tell you about Joe Gibbs Racing. They were dominant today. Dominant. They were dominant in this race. They were literally dominant. They led over half the race with Bell, Ty Gibbs, and Denny Hamlin. The only Joe Gibbs Toyota was out of shape, was Truex. So, yeah, but I'm really glad Truex was able to make it past this first round. He's my pick for the championship this season. So, yeah. Guys, that's going to be it. There's playoff drivers that had that had, um, that had um, some problems and ones that succeeded. So, yeah. Again, the four drivers have been eliminated are Joey Logano, the defending series champion, he was the first driver to be eliminated in this format as a defending champion. So, yeah. Then we have Kevin Harvick in his final season, because he gets eliminated in the round of 16. Stenhouse, I didn't really expect Stenhouse to make it past this first round. So, yeah, but Bristol has been one of Stenhouse's good tracks, though. Then Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell, he was actually running pretty good in this race, and then just didn't have it enough there. So, yeah. So yeah, guys, that is it for this race review. Denny Hamlin wins, and, and Denny Hamlin wins, and yeah, very happy. Man, very extremely pumped up, and yeah. What do you guys think about this race? Let me know in the comments. By the way, guys, I gave this race a 7 out of 10. And anyways, this is Preston signing off. Peace out.